the doctors here is actually similar to the doctors in London, like the doctors are just constantly on their computers. So this is the doctor's room. A big difference that I noticed was that before mm -hmm. I was booked in for a consultation, my vitals were checked. I don't know why, but I'm always so anxious when having my blood pressure checked. Comment down below if you feel me on that one. The nurse also checked my height and my weight. This is the reception. It was very cozy, looked clean and beautiful. However, I personally am not a fan of curtains, boy. I was booked in for a private consult straight away, which was amazing. So you're going to subscribe some medication then? Yes. Okay. It looks like acne. Just like London, going to the doctors involves a lot of waiting. Here is a closer look of the issue that I have. My mum was making me laugh so much with the way that she was filming. But shout out to my mums though for recording this whole video for me. And my posture is actually so rubbish. Like, look at me <laughs> trying to straighten up my back. No. One thing I prefer about the doctors in Ghana is that I was able to voice any and every query that I had without being rushed for time. In London, they'll tell you that they don't have time to answer any question because they've got their next patient in five minutes. Mm -hmm. One random thing that happened was that the doctor left us in the room for a couple of minutes which we found so bizarre, like is this normal because I don't know, like this has never happened to me. Comment your thoughts down below. How much is the consultation? 50 cities. 50 cities. Okay. So we pay at the reception? My whole consultation only cost me 50 cities, you know. So that's a win-win for me, bro. Thank you so much for your help. So we'll see if I think if you'll be around before uh, with grandma, you can come around with her so, so you can see the game improvement. Okay, I'll come with her. Why do you like those things like that? <laughs> 